Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator living in Pittsburgh. I have a background in interior design, but I have been a full-time content creator for over five years now. I currently live in Pittsburgh with my fiance Skylar and our Labradoodle Indio. We've lived here for about two years now, but we are originally from the Pacific Northwest and we have been moving around the country quite a bit the past five years or so. So today's video is going to be a collection of all of my dresses and jumpsuits. But before we get into the video, please make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so that you guys will be notified whenever I have a new video. I upload two vlogs a week, Friday and Sunday, and shorts in between. I've been filming a lot of these collection videos recently. I did my thrifted jackets collection, shoe collection, boho purses collection, a bunch of videos like this, as well as um, my thrifted ceramics collection and thrifted baskets and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos. And I will leave a link to the last one so you guys can check that out. And let's go ahead and get into my dresses and jumpsuits collection. Okay, so this first dress is actually more of like a t-shirt dress. It's um, a little bit oversized. I think it's a size medium or large. Um, oh, I'm totally wrong. It's actually a size small. So on me, it's pretty big, but it's supposed to just have like this oversized feel to it. And it's kind of like a dress that I like to wear around the apartment when I want to be comfy. Um, I have styled it before with like knee-high boots and that was pretty cute. Lots of ways to style this. This was an Urban Outfitters find. Um, I got it from like the clearance section, I think like four or five years ago, Silence and Noise. So I've had that one for a while. So I try to stay away from fast fashion, but I do have a couple of fast fashion dresses in this collection. I don't have a ton of dresses as it is. I really want to collect like some more classic timeless dresses that are kind of like staple dresses that I can wear over and over again in style a ton of different ways. So for now, I'm just going to show you guys dresses that I have. I have kind of been um, purging some stuff recently, but this is a fast fashion dress that I have kept for quite some time now. I love the boho feel of it, kind of like the feminine feel with these like ruffled sleeves. Sorry about the lighting guys, it was sunny when I went to start filming and now I think it's probably going to start raining soon so I'm going to try to hurry this up as fast as I can. But I love the details on this dress from the people in the center of the like chest details and then the stretchy ruffled back as well is really nice and it is a super long dress like down to the floor on me very pretty and kind of like an eyelet style material. This dress is also from the same brand, which is Chicwish. I've had both of these dresses for, I want to say like four plus years. So I've had them for quite some time. They are not the most, they're not the comfiest dresses, especially that yellow dress. It's a little bit kind of like itchy. It can be kind of tight and uncomfortable because of the material. This one is more comfortable, I would say, because it's a little bit oversized on me. Um, I think it is a size small, but for whatever reason, it fits a little bit more like a medium to large. this like fun summer plaid. I've actually styled both of these dresses in like western style photo shoots. They both definitely lend themselves towards that like style and vibes. This one is also, it's about T length on me, so not quite all the way down to the ground and it's a little bit more like flowy and like I said it fits a little bit bigger on me, so more of like a casual oversized feel almost. Okay, so this was a thrift find. I thrifted this at my local Goodwill bins. It is this really pretty macrame cover-up, like slip dress. I styled this in Arizona with my new Saturday swimwear swimsuit, which is kind of like in this color, a little bit of a deeper brown. And it was really, really pretty with like 
a cute cowboy hat and stuff. So I definitely plan on styling this more whenever I can. No brand or anything like that. So definitely a unique piece. Okay, so it's really dark all of a sudden, but I really want to finish this video. So I'm going to try to go through the rest of these really quickly. So here's another thrifted dress. This is a St. John's Bay dress. It has a little tie in the back. So just like a classic white summer dress would look super cute with like a little um, summer, like a straw summer hat. That's probably how I would style it. Another thrifted dress. I thrifted both of these at the Goodwill bins for this summer. This is a wrap dress that looks a little weird right now because it's not tied properly, but it is from like the 90s, I believe. Lord's Rose is the label and it looks like a vintage 90s label. It's this really pretty um, brown color with like a little dainty white floral print on it. So very cute kind of has like some retro vibes and 90s vibes, which I also love. Okay, so I have two dresses from Grey State Apparel they want to show you guys. I have actually shown these in a haul from probably like a couple months back or something, so you guys probably have seen these before. The first is this really pretty short-sleeved dress with kind of like tiered like pleats in it, three of them. So very classic, very chic, and also like a really nice, um, modest style as well. And then this one is a little bit more, I know that there's like a certain name for this style, but I can't think of what it is. So it's um, like a tiered dress with like the three plates in it. Um, it is really like fluffy and flowy. And then the top of it is this really nice stretchy like tank material. So. Both of them are super comfy and they are sustainable as well, that brand, Grace State Apparel. So definitely check them out. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this jumpsuit really fast before I show you the rest of my dresses and jumpsuits because it is from Unpublished Denim. The rest of the pieces I'm gonna show you guys are actually from Able, a brand I've worked with a ton over the past like three or four years. So this is from Unpublished Denim. It has like a white, so it's kind of like an off-white. Um, it's not linen, but it almost has like a linen look to it. I've worn this quite a bit. I styled it a lot in Arizona, especially Phoenix and Tucson. It's super comfy and easy. I love jumpsuits because they are just like so easy to style. I usually just will throw on like a hat, like a wide brim hat with some ankle boots or something and loved that. So great for summer. Okay, so starting off with a few of their older season items. I believe I've had this for about three years now. It is, it is a black kind of like maxi, um, not a shift dress. I'm not sure what you call it. I guess just like a t-shirt dress. So it's three quarter sleeves, very baggy, and it's super, super comfy. I love this for whenever I'm like running errands or even just for like lounging around the house and because it's very comfortable and it's also like a very classic piece so lots of ways to style it as well with like basics, classic pieces. I'll usually style this with like a leather tote bag or something, some cute ankle boots, even like some cute white sneakers or something. Tons of ways to dress this up or down. Okay, so this denim jumpsuit from Able I've had for a couple of years now. It has this little like tie around the waist so you can like cinch it up, which I love. And um, it's just a tiny bit long on me and wide-legged as well. So I usually wear it with um, like some dressy ankle boots or something that have a bit of a heel. And it is also long sleeve, has like this really nice collar and this cool like hardware kind of like feel to it. Lots of pockets, so super, super fun piece. I don't get to wear this as much as I would like to, but um, I'll definitely have to style this more going into like the fall season when it is a appropriate to wear a jumpsuit like this because it does get very hot. Okay, so I have another able jumpsuit here. I got this one last fall. I actually wore this for, I think like some fall photos and maybe even our Christmas photos last year. And it was so cute. I love the sagey green color of it. Um, I also really love like the details on the sleeves 
the collar is also like really simple and chic as well cute little brown buttons and then it also has a tie here so that you can like cinch it up at the waist pockets as well which I always love on a jumpsuit and then kind of like a wider leg on the bottom as well so I style these usually with um, ankle boots or like a dressy ankle boot with a little bit of height to it but also super cute with like sneakers and stuff like that so I just love me a good jumpsuit because they are so easy to dress up and down and then I have two dresses that were from their most recent like spring summer collection. I styled both of these on my trip to Arizona quite a bit. So you guys probably have seen them in that travel content. Um, so the first one is this really pretty kind of like a um, well, three quarter sleeve. So it kind of has like a prairie dress style feel to it. It actually has pockets on the side, which is super nice. So this is a size small, although it fits me a little bit more like a medium because it's definitely a lot baggier um, in this area, which I really don't mind because then I'm at least comfy. Um, so like I mentioned, it does have three quarter sleeves and um, these really cute dainty buttons down the front. So it kind of has like a prairie dress feel to it. I like to, I like to call them. Um, and I do have quite a few of dresses in that style. I really like like that kind of boho, westerny kind of feel. And I love the like really pretty floral pattern as well. Just like really feminine and pretty for spring and summer. But you could also style it into the fall as well. So here is the other Abel dress. This one has like that really scrunchy material on the chest, which is nice. I actually didn't need to wear this with a bra at all because this was just like perfect enough for my chest without needing to like wear a bra, which I really like because whenever I don't have to wear a bra, that is what I like to do. And then the sleeves, I think I just wore these up. You can kind of like almost do them off the shoulder a little bit. That scrunchy material goes up the side as well. And then it has long sleeves, like almost full sleeves. And then it's almost not quite T-length. Actually, no, I think it is about T-length. And then the other one is like down to the ground. Also very comfy as well. And I love the feminine detail there on the front of the dress super cute and i don't think that i mentioned this but abel is another sustainable ethical brand based in nashville and i have a lot of their pieces from like purses to shoes shirts other items as well that i love and they're just like such a great go-to for classic pieces that you can wear in so many different ways as well as like statement pieces too and really great like leather goods jewelry all that great stuff so definitely check them out like i said i'm trying to stay away from fast fashion i just had a couple of fast fashion dresses that i'll probably wear for a little bit longer and then eventually probably purge those from my closet and then i'm trying to basically just keep adding pieces that are like sustainable from sustainable brands i'm just trying to make sure that all the pieces in my closet are the best quality possible from brands that are sustainable and ethical okay guys so that is it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed my dress and jumpsuit collection i'm really sorry that the lighting was so terrible in this video but i hope that you guys still enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what videos you guys would like to see from me next i'm trying to think of like a few more collection type videos i can do but i'm also thinking about maybe doing like my daily skincare routine daily makeup routine things like that but let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any ideas i did see um, a request for another port, uh, pittsburgh pros and cons video so i'm going to try to work on one of those soon hopefully so once again if you guys aren't subscribed already please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this also check me out on 
all socials at The Urban Darling. I am on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, The Works, and also check out my blog, TheUrbanDarling.com for more fashion, travel, home content, and more. And if you guys know of anyone that you think would enjoy my channel, please be sure to share it with them so that you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.